In this video, we'll look at the basic color correction tools available in Aftershop Pro, starting with white balance. When you click the white balance preset dropdown, you'll see this list of white balance settings. These are very similar to the white balance settings you'll see in your camera. Moving your mouse over these options will preview the effect that each of these settings will have. For this photo, taken on an overcast day, either shady or cloudy looks best. Or we can go back to the As Shot option to use the white balance as set in the camera, then use the Temp slider to make subtle adjustments to the white balance of your photo. With the white balance set to give us nice, natural looking colors, we can move to Saturation and Vibrance. Saturation makes all the colors in your image more rich. Double click Saturation to reset, and then move the Vibrance slider up. This is a much more subtle way to enhance the color of your images without overdoing it. We can also reduce vibrance to give nice muted colors or lower saturation to move all the way to a black and white image. Now we'll combine some of the tonal adjustments we saw in the previous video with these color correction tools to create a unique effect. We'll imitate an old film look by moving the contrast up pretty high and then taking the saturation down significantly. With just these two adjustments, we get a very different and interesting treatment to the overall photo. We can take this effect a little further by clicking on the Detail tab and adding just a bit of vignetting. This enhances that old camera feel. 